Hi and welcome. We're going to take a look at the first movement of Beethoven's Sonata, Opus 49, number one. And this is at the request of Michel, and it's on the ABRSM Grade 6 syllabus for 2017 and 2018. It's one of these alternative pieces. It's piece A5. And I'll work steadily through it, but first of all, I'm going to jump straight into the ornaments that um, Michel, we've been talking about. So the very first one is here. Now that sign there tells us to do a turn. Without the turn, of course, that would be... So what does the turn mean? A turn is... So we go above the note and below and back up again. Now, in, like any ornament, in different contexts, they mean slightly different things and in different styles of music and in different tempos of music, they will mean different things. Um, that's certainly true, more true of trills, I would say, less true of turns. But for this one, um, what I would suggest is, is exactly what I've just played. I'll play it now with the left hand so you get some sense of the, of the speed of it all. Um, I'll go nice and steadily. see it now written out um, and that that is taken from a sheet that I'll include as a download so you can check up on all of these. Let me jump straight to the next one. At the start of the second page we've got some trills. Uh, trills that are doubly difficult because we have to do them in both hands at the same time. Now before I tuck into this one here's a great trill exercise. This is the one, the very famous one, that Mozart used. You see it in all the books. Something like this. Then swap. Now we're going quite slowly there. The idea is to keep it as even as you can. And when you're trilling, generally keep your fingers very, very close to the keys. In fact, they don't even need to come all the way up when you're trilling. Um, and doing that Mozart exercise with both hands together is really quite a challenge. I'm not going to do it all now, but... Swap. Um, and gradually you can increase the speed. Another good trill exercise is to start with setting yourself a, a nice steady beat. Triplet. And gradually increase the speed. Again, doing that with both hands together, you'd really get things sorted out. This Beethoven, what do we have to do? It's a trill on a B flat. And very often with trills, you start on the note above. Again, that's not always the case, but I think here that's going to work well. So we're going to play this. And notice I'm using those fingers there for all of them. with a bit of a lean on that F as it's marked in the score da, 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 da. and you may find that your hands aren't working together just be really patient with yourself gradually build up the strength and the uh, in, the, in those fingers that are doing the trilling and gradually get them working together with things like that Mozart exercise. And the very last little uh, turn I wanted to draw attention to is something like this one here. 
where you see a sharp below. That just tells us that we need to play a sharp on the note below. So this was on. Here it is nice and slow. With the left hand to give it some context. those make sense as always come back to me if not now I'm going to go through the piece I probably won't play the whole thing but um, certain bits of it nice and steadily and we'll we'll see what crops up as we go always difficult to get thirds absolutely well synced with the left hand isn't it and no pedal certainly on that scale up to avoid any mushing of the sound overdid the phrasing there but it is there so some element of that you need to throw in as well and now I'm just going to skip to this bit now those notes are what I think I like to do is one three four probably end on a two and those three notes are just before the left hand comes in so you want to sync up a bit too much on the on that one with those three notes being as light as you possibly can and really really relaxed if you sense yourself articulating every note really carefully and getting stressed then something squiffy to sort of do a few relaxation exercises to, to get, get your hand to go off floppy And then we've got this lovely Alberti bass with the left hand. That we need to tuck into the background and keep like a, like a sort of a wheel, just keep it turning gradually and keeping the harmony and the chords going. While you're working out where to go, that's quite a good way to practice it, just play it as chords. you want perhaps you could do pairs of notes as I've started to do there or you could do four notes good sort of reading exercise and then this beautiful melody over the top I'll play from there slower than it should be really I like the thumb on that F to get ready for the next phrase here, let go of that F because the left hand's got to play it straight afterwards. Oh, I like that. Those crunchy notes that need to be lent on, do you agree? out for some shape isn't it fingering right hand here that's what I do there and I avoid any pedal for that little bit of the left hand <laughs> too much talking Just so you can hear really clearly what's going on less tone on the very last chord than on the one before and then we've got the bit we've talked about oh well, that's quite bold isn't it I'm dying straight back into calm carry on so nice and calm here I 
did that all make sense going nice and steadily um, the rhythm the, the fingering of these passages I quite like to do that and that forces me to change my fingers a lot on the same note da, 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 da. I like that four through and change the thumb but there will be other options as well. Um, then moving on. Home to the minor. Notice I'm doing a bit of swapping of fingers at the top there to try and keep it as smooth as possible. And uh, very often if it's a white note, the fifth finger plays the top. If it's a black note it's the fourth finger but there's no that's not a hard and fast rule you'll find often you're doing different things back into the tune from the start. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful movement and I hope you enjoy learning it with your I'm going to stop there for now. The second page is very similar to what we've already been through. Um, enjoy your practice. Bye-bye for now.